This is Tomorrow's People, a production of the Liberia Media for Democratic Initiatives. Tomorrow's People is today launching year three, all girls quizzing and the national quizzing competition across Liberia. Today we are honored to be joined and to serve as the chief luncher, no other but Sister Mary Lorraine Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, we now welcome Director John Cully, who will lead this part of the program. Do call the best. Is hereby called to order today. And we are about to process into the hall our debaters of the day. Thank you. Today, on Duke of Debates, we've brought to the hall to debate on the topic whose responsibility is it to clean a city and or a town? The people or the municipal government? If the people, why and how? If the municipal government, why and how? Today to debate the issues, may we proceed into the hall now. Processing the team, teams A and B. Team A is for municipal government's responsibility, meaning they will be arguing for the city council here. There you go. So, Case International. On the team of Case International, let's call into this hall on Duke Odebe's lead presenter. Lisa Boy. Lisa, may you proceed? You are great. Lisa Boy arrives for the debate today. You are great. You are great. On Duke Odebe's, Lisa Boy. Say you are great. Lisa, our boy, may you have your seats on Duke Odebe's. Give her a hand of applause. Today on Team A, a buttressy member number two is Rabel A. Passaway. Rabel, may you proceed on Duke Odebe's today. Duke Odebe's talking such a cleanliness whose responsibility municipal government or the people. Thanks for arriving, Rabel A. Passaway. Next, Macaline S. Hayes. Macaline is a third member of the team. Team A, Kiss International. Debating today whose responsibility is it to clean the city or the town, municipal government or the people. Last member on the team is a researcher, researcher Rukayat T. Rajiv. Rukayat Arabs. Thank you, Rukayat Debater on Team A for municipal government as the responsible group. Rukayat is a researcher. Moving to Team B on Duco debates today, and they are debating for the people's responsibility. Team B. Eshan School of Girls lead presenter Maritha M. Dogolier. May you proceed. Maritha Dogolier, lead presenter. May you give her a hand of applause. Next, on Team B, Justina J. Colley. 
Justina is team member two. And Duka debates. Thank you, Justina, for arriving to push your point on this debate today. Kurubo B. Sumo. Kurubo B. Sumo is debater number three. Next, last but not the least, researcher Aring Noemeni. Aring Noemeni. Aring Aras, she is a researcher on this team. Thank you. Now, to call the best. Thanks so much. May we rise together now for Liberia's national anthem on Duco debates. Stand up together to take the anthem and sing it very well. on Duca debates today whose responsibility is it to clean the city or the town in this perspective maybe Monrovia, Liberia and Opinsville city whose responsibility should it be to clean the city should it be the city council or the so the base is set. We're going to begin rather immediately with Team A. Team A's lead presenter is Lisa Araboy. Lisa, may you take the podium? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lisa Araboy from Case International Secondary School, Panasville Estate. Panel of judges, LMDR staffs, staff, court debaters, ladies and gentlemen. I stand firmly to defend the proposition that states it is the responsibility of the municipal government to clean the city and not the work of the citizens. First of all, the responsibility of the municipal government. It is the primary responsibility of them to clean the city as constituted by the, the, the constitution. And also the municipal government consists of the MCC and other cleanup committees that, that are established by law to maintain the sanity of the city. There are many ordinances that can be set up by the municipal government, such as placing trash cans, a various post station, cleaning the parking lots, and other sanitary work. It's the municipal responsibility to provide tools, such as shovel tow trucks, and other implements to take dikes to various waste stations. Look at Oslo, for example. Oslo in Norway is one of the cleanest cities in the world, not because of the citizens themselves. In Oslo, there are ordinances set up in order, people, in order for people to put their trash in trash cans, and also there are security cameras and municipal police along the street to enforce those laws, and that wouldn't have been possible without the municipal government. Looking at Liberia as a case study, Madam Mary, Madam Mary Paul, 
in, in which she had a campaign set up that the first Saturday in every month, people are told to close their business centers and go and clean their streets in their homes. You see, they did it because of the law that she enforced by the workers, the MCC, and other cleanup co co cooperation. That's why they, that's why the citizens carry out those work and they clean the city. And also look at Wellington. In Wellington, just for throwing wrappers, chocolate wrappers in the street, a citizen can be sentenced to years, years imprisonment. And also look at slum communities. Can you tell me, is it possible for places like New Town and other slum communities to pack garbage and carry it to waste management centers? Where are they going to take, take those implements from? From their own pocket, their incomes, looking at their incomes? And also, they call on the local government to do so. And looking at Nairobi, Nairobi is one of the cleanest streets in, the, in Africa because of the municipal government, the ordinance that they set up. And Nairobi has conquered the minds, the hearts of many tourists and investors. So conclude, my audience, have you ever seen any society run, run without uh, a municipal government? Of course, I say no. Looking at the homes, looking at the homes, there is an administration set up. Is it possible for well-mannered children to be brought up without the administration of homes? And even my fellow students, look at your, your institutions that you are in. Without the teachers, without the principals, do you think you guys are going to be seated here and also you guys are going to be educated in a proper way? We would have been roaming the streets for if, if it wasn't for the administration set up. So to conclude, as Benjamin really said, cleanliness and order are not a matter of instinct. They are a matter of education. Hence, it is the responsibility of the municipal government to educate the people. I rest my case. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Lisa has saved actually one minute 30 seconds of her time. Team B is headed by Marita M. Dugulie. Marita, may you take the podium therefore. Thank you. Hello everyone. Panna Board of Judges, government officials, the media, the management and staff of LMDI, my colleagues, my opposing team, listening audience, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, student Marietta M. Dogole is my name from the Epsom of Faith Girls Academy. I rise on this podium to factually and correctly provide detailed information concerning the proposition which states, and I quote, whose responsibility is to clean the city. Now the question here is, is it the municipal government or the citizens? However, we the girls of Epsom have come to strongly affirm that it is the citizens or the people of the city duties and responsibility to clean the city. Firstly, let me define key terminology in the proposition according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, and that is responsibility. The state of being the one who caused something to happen as well as a task you are asked or required to do. Currently, there have been a series of information regarding pack up garbage in the Peaceville City region, including Red Light, and Monrovia areas, including Waterside, Buchanan, Kerry Street intersection. Now, tell me, who are those piling up these garbages? Are they even aware of the terrible implications it may impose on them when it comes to health, social, mental, and well being of everyone? Listening audience, Cleanliness is next to godliness. This is a quote that every parent, teachers, and professors mention at least once. It is a fact that every one of us has come across this, purpose, this uh, proverb. But how many of us have understood it as since? Keeping our city or surrounding clean is not really our choice. It is our duty, our moral, our individual's responsibility. For I tell you, if we do not work as individual to tackle the issues of living in dirty and polluted environments, there won't be a way that we will work as team to reverse all of the reverse living in dirty and polluted environments. Lastly, a clean city or a clean street starts from our various homes and workplaces to the streets. My colleagues will project and provide more details to affirm that citizens are responsible to clean the city. Until then, I submit.
So Maretta Dogolier yes, presented in three minutes, seven two minutes of her time. Good. And Maretta presents that is solely should have to do with the people also to clean up the city. Her basic argument is environment and health. You make the dirt. If you make the dirt and don't clean it, you get affected first before a government comes in. She believes, therefore, the people of Monrovia, for example, should be aware, should be made aware that all the pile of dirt at Pinsville city, city and other locations in Monrovia will affect them more. She therefore makes the case that the people's intervention first should happen. It's therefore largely the responsibility of the people to clean themselves. She sounds biblical. She talks about cleaning as being next to godliness. Therefore, you should be clean first before the government. Thank you so much. The buttressers will speak for three minutes. So team A has buttresser number one, Rabel A. Passaway. Rabel, may you take the podium on Duca debates. Whose responsibility is it to clean the city or town, the people or the municipal government? If the people, why and how? If the government, why and how? On this floor is Rabel A. Passaway. Rabel, tell us when you're ready. I'm ready. You're ready. Of course. If you are ready, then go from three minutes to zero. In addendum to what my colleague previously stated, the municipal government is solely charged with the responsibility of cleaning the city. Well, the municipal government is responsible to perform the following functions. Carry on cleaning up campaigns. Two, cleaning of public amenities like park, parking lots, etc. Four, three, carry on waste management and and cleaning of bus stops and other areas. Let's take Singapore as a case study. Well, Singapore is rated as one of the cleanest cities in the world, not because of the citizens, but because of the ordinances set by the municipal government. In October 2017, the municipal government set up a cleaning up campaign wherein governmental workers or employers were in the various streets of Singapore cleaning up let me come back to Liberia. Few years ago, our former mayor, Mayor Mary Burr, set a stringent ordinance where in Friday Saturday in every month is set aside for general cleaning. Because of that ordinance, areas in Morovia are clean. Take a look at Pinsville, Singo, Congota, New Matari. All of those areas are clean because of the ordinances set by the municipal government. To finalize my arguments, on March 10, 2018, our present mayor, Jefferson T. Koji, was seen with our president, His Excellency, George Maniwia, with other MCC workers cleaning the various streets of Morovia. Ladies and gentlemen, that alone shows that the municipal government is charged with the responsibility of cleaning the city. Tell me. Can a school run without a principal? Can a child grow up with good morals without a parent? Even in the animal kingdom, there's a head. And leadership comes with responsibility. Therefore, the municipal government is charged with the responsibility of cleaning the city. I rest my case. Thank you. She begins, this is an addendum to what my colleague started. Rabel makes the case that responsible municipal governments will do the right job and they will therefore set the basis for which a city government should be responsible for cleaning the city. 
Rabel makes an argument, certain examples of Singapore. She drives it back home and talks of Mary Bra, the former mayor of Monrovia, and talks of the current Jefferson T. Koyje and President Weir doing some show of commitment to cleaning Monrovia. She says these are all signs that the government should do its job. It is their responsibility, not the people. Rabel, a pass away. Next is Team B. Buttress of Justina J. Colley. Justina, may you take the podium on Duca the best today. Once again, I'm Justina J. Kali from the F. Shema Faith Girls Academy. A year back, confidently harassed to provide you one relevant reason to affirm that it is the duties and responsibility of the citizens to clean the city. One, it is our social responsibilities. Human beings are social creatures. We seek company at all times. Living in a community imposes on us certain responsibilities. Keeping our city clean is one among them. It is the duty of each and every person to ensure that his or her surrounding is hygienic. It is our social responsibility to ensure that our homes, streets, and environment are preserved and living conditions are sustained through the years. After all, each of us must know that charity begins at home. Therefore, a clean home leads to a clean neighborhood. A clean neighborhood collectively brings about a clean community and as well as a clean city. We all love our families and our homes. We keep our homes neat and clean. But how many of us think about keeping cleanliness outside our residence? Obviously, few. That means that we don't love our country of our heart. If I am wrong, then why are our streets, cities, roads, etc. so dirty? Most especially marketplaces like Rye Light, Kobachofi, Watasa, etc. as well as cemeteries. Do you know that these places make up our environment and they belong to us? Actually, this country belongs to us and it is our sweet home. Just because we are paying taxes does not mean that we can do anything. For instance, spitting, throwing waste in public places, etc. are serious offenses and we are committing them each and every day. I know we don't do these things intentionally, but it is still happening. And because of this, we are making our city very dirty. Even while traveling or roaming, we are used to throwing papers and chest wrappers, water plastics, banana peels, etc. on roads. Now we're there, on most of our roads, we find garbages at its corners. And this is the main root cause of diseases like fever, malaria, chlora, etc. I know none of us want to get sick. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we can avoid such things easily by keeping our city clean. After all, keeping our city clean is our due responsibility. With these relevant facts, I now pause for continuation by my colleagues. Thanks. Thank you. Justina Colley on Duca the Best introduces a new pattern to the debate. Justina brings on board social responsibility. Justina says, just because you pay taxes and elect government so you can't clean yourself. So what will you do? We should be able to clean ourselves. Justina believes that all the plastic bags with running around here with spitting, urinating anywhere, toileting anywhere, doing the things we do. Look at us. Justina makes the case that before government was people and people make up government. We therefore are the government. We should be the clean people. Justina's case 
is actually social in nature. She agrees that governments do get money, is their instructed mandate, but you have a greater responsibility because you are either the end beneficiary or the victim. You therefore should work to clean yourself. Thank you, Justina. Next, team A is third and last, Buttresser. Michaelin S. Hayes. Michaelin S. Hayes will arrive for her three minutes. All right, so Michaelin, if you are ready, Ms. Hayes, may you go ahead with your defense. It is the full responsibility of the municipal government to clean the cities. My audience, tenure of judges, citizens pay assessment taxes to the municipal government for public services. Public services include cleaning of the city, good water quality, etc. Let's look at the cleaning of the city. A citizen should pay taxes to the municipal government for cleaning the city. Then why should citizens clean up the dike from in the, from in the city? My audience, panel of judges, the municipal government is fully equipped with logistics that can be able to meet every dirty place in the city. Let's look at Kikali, Uwanda. In Kikali, the city mayor and its employees had a cleaning or campaign called Pick It Up, where the city mayor and his employees took dice from in the city and entered trash can, in the trash can in the dump truck, and then take it to the last dump site. Let's come back in Morovia, Liberia. In Morovia, we have our own municipal government, the MCC. MCC have ordinances set in place wherein the citizen will therefore be able to follow that ordinance. My audience, panel of judges, is it possible for this debate to take place here without our panel of judges? No! Our panel of judges have ordinance in place here for us to follow in able for this debate to take place. Let's look at um, let's look at my evidence I tracked down. On the UN draft at the Redditon market, after market tears have sold all day, they then call on the municipal government to come and clean up the marketplace wherein you see employees of the municipal government party on dice and placing it in two type of trucks. To conclude, it is the full responsibility of the municipal government to clean the city, be able for us to have foreign investors in our country. My audience, panel of judges, concur with our argument that it is the full responsibility of the municipal government to clean the city. I rest my case. Thank you. Marceline Hayes, the last buttresser for Team A. Krubo? <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Krubo, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Good. If you are ready, your three minutes are rolling now to zero. Our panel board of judges, Court debaters, my opposing team, listening audience, are we all aware of the simple mistakes we make every day? While traveling, we throw any wrappers, papers, and even dry waste on the roads instead of keeping them in our bags or pockets. We cough, vomit, and even spit a rose as it can be the cause for viral disease. The municipal authority sets up rules and regulations to keep the city clean. Yet then, we do not follow these rules. I am urging every one of us that if 
someone is breaking the rule, then make them aware of it because it is our social responsibilities as citizens of this country. Stop your friends if they are making such mistakes and spread the awareness about keeping our cities clean. Like the Cool FM 91.9 does every Saturday. Even my opponents here will agree with me that they take the responsibility and that they are proactive to make sure that their homes and environments are clean. Most of us love foreign countries. Why? Simply because of their cleanliness. I am I'm very sure that if simple steps and regulations are followed, we can make a big difference in our beloved country. And I can assure you all that you will never feel like going to any other country. Foreigners will fall in love with our country, and that will make us proud as Liberians. We all know the famous proverb that charity begins at home. Let's just say the same applies when it comes to keeping our surroundings clean. Watering the seeds and not the same will make a plate grow into a few. The training and practice of cleanliness should begin at our homes. Once started, this can be extended to schools, workplaces, marketplaces, streets, etc. Well, it is our moral and social individual duties to clean our city. So it is not the municipal authority, but the duties and responsibilities of parents to teach, educate, and inculcate a sense of responsibilities in children while they are still in the learning and growing process of their lives. The parks, hospitals, school campuses, restaurants, beaches, and public bathrooms are open to the public, more especially over the weekends for photos, refresher, celebrations, and relaxation. But however, since you overlook the importance of keeping this status clean and pay our death yet on the fact that it is for our own goods. My father put up judges, co-debaters, you will agree with us from the many facts contributed that it is indeed our oh, social and moral duty. All right, Krubo cut by time makes the argument of social responsibility. Krubo says you can't debtor yourself and expect other people to clean you. You also have to do some of the duty in simple argument. The people bear responsibility too and should do something. Thank you. May you give our both teams a hand of applause. Thank you, Anjuka, the best. Now, Lisa and Maretta are going to do two things here. Number one, you are allowed to out, ask two questions to her. She will ask two questions to you. You got two points to make. Where you feel she went wrong, you say, no, this is wrong. I believe in this. And you do it only twice. We'll cut you off at will. Maretta, yeah. is it possible for a government or for our citizens themselves, a society, to function properly without the help of rules or ordinances made by the local government? Yes, it is possible. Please explain. Reasons? You know that living in a dirty and polluted environment has effects when it comes to your health. So, you as a citizen, you should take responsibility to clean up your environment whenever it is dirty. Okay, I'll come in. You say that it's the instinct, right, of we citizens to clean the environment. Look at red light, look at nuclear town. Why have they made, made a mountain in uh, streets of such? Because of the same citizen themselves, if they are able to take those die from there, why are they still there? And they call onto the municipal government to clean those streets. Well, the citizens are responsible to clean their environment. 
Let's just forget about the issue of the part of Germany, then look at Rayleigh really as an example. Rayleigh really is not clean, and citizens are there, selling, eating, and carrying on daily activities there. Who showed a diet? It is the citizens. So, so if you say, it is the citizens who throw the drug down, it should be the citizens' responsibility to clean it up. It should be their responsibility. You can still see right now. You can take a walk to real life, right? The dice are still there. No more question. Make your point. Make your argument now. The dice are still there. So I say to you, it is because of the municipal ordinance that they can set up that will be that will enable the citizens of those places to take the dice from there and by the help of the municipal police and other cooperation of the municipal to take dice to waste management centers. Thank you. So your two questions now and your two points to Lisa here. Well, Lisa, can our city ever be clean without citizens taking responsibility? I say yes. Reasons? There are ordinances, there are rules, regulations that should be set in every society in order for it to function correctly. Look at your school, for example. Do you have a principal? I say yes to that. And because of the administration, ordinance set by principal, that's why you guys are not roaming the streets right now. You guys are in school and learning and are well-mannered. And I will tell you that laws without implementation is like a headache without painkiller. The government is there to enforce the law, but then take a clear look at red light. And we have ordinance, but how many citizens are aware of the ordinance that the government passed by? How many of us are aware? Red light is still dirty, not even red light, but other part of the city is dirty. It so whose responsibility is to clean it? It is the responsibility of the municipal government based on their qualifications to carry out seminars to teach local people and tell them about the safety of cleaning their environments. Next question. Well, if we are saying, or if you are saying that the municipal government is responsible to clean the streets, then who make the dirt? It is the citizens themselves. So, you made the dirt and then you expect all of the cleaning, right? You make, they make the diet, right? And there are ordinances that should be put into place. For example, leaving trash cans by the municipal government, as you see, they always do, right? They leave trash cans, right? So the citizens themselves who made the diet to throw the diet to them, there. Now your questions are finished. Your points now, reject or accept what she said. Well, I will be constant by saying citizens are responsible to clean the streets or the cities because not cleaning your street or living or dirty in polluted environment may have terrible implications on their health and mental well-being. So citizens should take responsibilities of cleaning their environment. And I also no, no, you cannot respond to that. All right, are you finished? Yeah. That's your last point. Both of you back off. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. <laughs> Next. Rabel A. Passaway, Justina A. Col J. Colley. According to your presenter, mm. you mentioned that it is the government responsibility to clean the city. Then, if you say that it is the government responsibility to clean the city, then why are they calling on the citizen to help? Good. Did you understand it? No, you got to listen. Yeah? The government, the government do not call citizens to help. Eventually, no ordinary citizen is willing to work without being paid. And the government are the ones who pay those people to work. So definitely, they are, far, they are part of the government and they are employees of the government. So definitely, they are under the municipal government, those that are working. You are contradicting yourself. Your first speaker said that Mary Bro, Mary Bro has called on all marketeers to not sell on first Saturday to join and clean the city. Then what did you say government is not calling on people? Government's... Government is not calling on people. Why do people clean their business that centers? No, presenters. hold it. She's on the floor and yeah. you made your point. That's... 
Rabel, speak. If that ordinance was now put in place by Mary Blow, do you think people will clean their places? No, it's because of the ordinance that is set, that is set by her. The MCC workers are cleaning the area and people close their shop 10 o'clock every first Saturday in every month. All right, so what's your question now to Justina here? You, say, you are saying that the citizens are responsible to clean the city. Do the citizens have the equipment that are needed for the, cities to, for the city to be well clean? Yes. Earlier in my presentation, I make mention that indeed charity begins at home. A clean home leads to a clean neighborhood. A clean neighborhood collectively That's not my about question. a clean community. A and as well She's as a She's answering community. you. Give her the chance. Justina, you got the floor. As I said earlier in my presentation, that charity begins at home. We all know that a city is made up, that a neighborhood is made out of homes, and it takes neighborhoods to make a city. Charity begins at home. A clean home leads to a clean neighborhood. A clean neighborhood collectively brings about a clean community and as well as a clean city. I right. disagree to that. All right, so make your point. Well, the citizens do not own the equipment that are needed. Can citizens provide trucks for those die that are piled up in areas like Rayleigh to be taken to solid waste management? No, it's the Moravia City Corporation that sell contract of Zoom Lion who provide trucks for those die to be taken out of those places. Therefore, the municipal government is solely charged with the responsibility of cleaning the city. I rest my case. Good. Rashika is back off two of you. All right. <laughs> Next, our last buttressers, Team A, Michaelin. Michaelin, where are you? <laughs> These people here, they like to win. <laughs> and um, Kruber. Yes. All right, so your woman went first. You hit her first. What's your question to her and what's your argument? Can you show me evidence where in citizens are cleaning the city in Morovia? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I would say yes. It's not a physical evidence, but from my experience, you will know. Because just by Mary Brock, calling upon citizens of this nation to do a cleaning up every first Saturday of the, of the month, tells you that citizens indeed carry on their responsibilities to clean the city. Which government Mary Brock, Madam Mary Brock, falls on? No, no, no two questions. One question now. Rebuff her. Say no or yes to what she said. No. Mary Brock falls on the municipal government it is in, and it is the municipal government who make those ordinances that the citizens every first Saturday close their business centers and you see the MCC workers cleaning dice for in the city then I put it to you that well done is better than well said put it those ordinances or, or doing whatever she's, she's, she's doing does that make her the person who clean the city? The citizen does the work, so they are doing the well done, and well done is better than well said. She's only saying it that we can, we can, we can understand it in our social. So do. And that's and, your only point. You have made it already. So your question now. Okay. My question to you. During your presentation, you mentioned about principal and teachers. Are they part of the city council? It was an example to show you how exactly the municipal government work. Oh, no, continue. You see, you don't talk again. You She's see, on the, floor. the the principal. If you are showing that example, the principal now is the municipal government, and the students are the citizens. So the the students follow ordinances of the principal in the school. So the citizens follow 
ordinances by the municipal government in a city. So, Redding, who is doing no the No point. Thank you. I said that. Back off. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, do call the best today. On whose responsibility is it to clean the city or town? The municipal government or the people? I have got just one question to each of the lead presenters. Our lead presenter boy, take the podium. Lead presenter Maretta Dogolier, take the podium. Answer my question to a point. Team B, why shouldn't it be the responsibility of the city government or the city mayor and his people and all her people when they are the ones who get the money to do the job, who get the instruction to do the job? Why shouldn't it be them? Why should the people also play a role? Tell me. Well, we the people or the citizen of the city should take responsibility to clean our city because living in a dirty environment has terrible implications on us. So, cleaning our city will help us maintain a healthy life. So, we should take responsibility as citizens. Point made. Team A leader, Lisa Boy. Will it be possible anywhere if the government issues instructions to people to clean up and they don't clean up, the government say put the trash in that bucket, you don't put it there. What then will be that citizen's responsibility if they do that kind of thing? Put it there, there you don't put it there. What is that? Municipal government or the local government has the responsibility of cleaning the city based on the equipment and the taxes that we pay. The, a job is not considered a job until it is fully completed. It is the municipal government. You're not answering me. What if the people don't comply? If the people do not comply with the rules and regulations which are ordinances set by the municipal government, there should be penalty against them. And also, I, I gave you an example of Nairobi. In Nairobi... Speak to the mic. In Nairobi, mm. there, there, is a, a, there is an ordinance set in which people must comply to or else they will be faced with even two years or four years imprisonment. So there should be penalty charge, penalty charge on every citizen who do not comply with the rules or the ordinances made by the municipal government. And last question to the both of you, one question, which is, is it possible to have a clean city mm -hmm. without cooperation between the people and the city government firstly in a society cooperation is the major key okay for now in this in this um, audience in this audience or at this occasion now we see if it wasn't because of the LMDR staff who instruct you guys to be seated in your various position, we would have been all around the places and even on the streets and also at your institution. I gave an example. If it, if it wasn't because of your administration, you would have seen citizens rendering around the streets. The question is to you. Is it possible without cooperation between the government and the city, government, the people, is it ever possible? Is it possible for the city to be clean without cooperation between the government and the people? Well, there is one saying that united we stand, divided we fall. All right. Question answer. Goodbye. Two of you back off. Goodbye. All right. On Duca the Bears. Now we're going to take actually six people, three boys, 
three guys to ask question to anybody here that you didn't feel good about their presentation. So you put your hand up and we choose you. Yes, you are first. You're number one. Come on, baby. Boy is the chief. Yes, my question to you. You just said that if the citizens do not take the responsibility to clean the city, there should be penalty or there should be a penalty for them. Then you are saying it is not the citizens' responsibility to clean the city. Then please tell all why there should be a penalty for them if it is not their responsibility to clean the city. All right. Just ask. Goodbye. Just ask. It is not the responsibility for students to teach themselves in which they pay money to the administration. That's the same as us. It, it, as us citizens, we should obey by the municipal ordinance set up in order to have a in order to have a functioning government. Thank you, boy. You may take your seat. Yes, a oh, a girl. Today the girls are shining. Here yeah, come. No problem. Come, baby. Do God the best. All girls edition. Yes, my question go to Team A. Team A. Yes, you made an example that about an institution. So there I come with my questions. If you are a renter renting for a landlady or a landlord, if you are, do not clean your bedroom or your sitting room or even your environment. Is it your landlord or landlord responsibility to clean your bedroom? Thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, Lisa boy. As he said, and I quote, you said the landlord, if it is the responsibility of the landlord to go into uh, their bare rooms, right? The, the renter's bare room to clean up. Firstly, the landlord set ordinances, set rules in which every renter that enters their apartment must follow. And if you do not, you will be kicked out of the house. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yes, a boy. Yes. A boy now. My man, I think you guys oh. My man, I think you. Go on, my man. Let me hear you. Yes, to the kids. Close that shy, low. Close your shy. What wrong with you? What kind of man is? All right, good. Face it good before you talk. Very well. All right. Yeah, to the kids. Up to E. We team A again? Yeah. Why are you all mocking Team A like that? <laughs> all right, go on. Speak to the mic. You are listening to the other time you said. Please listen to the man. We are the coverage of the citizen. The country will be clean. And I say that is very impossible. Because, like, for example, you read that the, the government will get all that say that clean the, the city and will clean the city at night. The citizen will bring dying in and tomb it dying. So, how will it be possible for the country to be clean without the citizen? Yes, it's possible for the city to be clean without them. Mm. Well, citizens pay taxes, and the municipal government is responsible to take those garbages from there. And also, there are rules passed by the municipal government. Yeah. As my colleague said earlier, you will be penalized because throwing garbages in the street is strictly prohibited. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> we now take four people, two more, and that's all. Yeah, man, what you say? Come, baby. We're coming there. Two more, don't worry. My question to the Ashen Grace. All right, Team B. Get set. From your earlier explanation. What school are you from, your name and your school? I'm Jeanette Kondosin, an alumni of the Amos T. Tabia Institute. Amos Tabia School, thank you. From your, from your earlier explanation, you say parents have the responsibility to inculcate in their children clean, cleanliness. Mm. So if parents have the responsibility to inculcate in their children cleanliness and feel to, and feel to inculcate this responsibility within their children, then how them can their children perform their duties? So my question to them is, 
what is the work of the city media? And if you are saying the people are responsible to clean the street of the city. Good. Who's coming? Who is coming? The work of the city mayor is to provide ordinance for the people to follow. But if the people decide to disobey, then that comes in. If the people decide to not take their responsibility, then it is. Then it is the government who have problems because well done is better than well said. The well done can never be done without the citizen. So if the citizen cannot obey the government, then it becomes the citizen full responsibility to keep their cities and surrounding very clean. Thank you. The last person that looks like, right? She just said that, that a land lady or a landlord make a rules and regulation to every landlord, to every renter. So here is the question. If the landlady or a landlord make Come closer a rules to the mic. and regulation, mm. will he or her search every rental room to make a research to see if that room is clean or not? <laughs> Good question. Go, go. Come on. You got to... <laughs> Yes, ma, let hear you. Let's keep very quiet now. We are about to do something. Shh. Hey. Keep very quiet now. Today, are we there? Today is a great, great opportunity to see brains at work. Really working on both sides maturely debated and they both have put the point succinctly they've made the case today we didn't decide to do a winner here this is the first we intend to roll out these things we are designing the score point for this debate Today, what we intend to get is the fact that you can debate well. And this debate, in our view, listening to the judges, created a balance. Here is the balance. The team here claims purely that it should be the responsibility of the people. But they went further to break down that and Justina came to make the point that even though the laws are there, but you as a human being need to clean yourself. Team A made a point that it's just not possible for the human character to behave itself without instructions and guardians. The government, the municipality, therefore, should be able to lead us to this. When they don't do this, especially when they got money to do it, they have failed their responsibility because we elected them to do so. What that sounds to us like is the fact that they both cannot work without the other. 
the people must accept instructions and act. The leaders must instruct and do their part. We therefore draw the balance here. And it is important for the people and the government to work together to build a society, to clean the country. You both therefore are winners of the day. Clap for yourselves. <laughs> the next time we are back, we will have a score point and there will be winners. Okay?